daughter. Nine months was long. Endured some excruciating pains, a lot of <sighs> But when I heard your first cry and I saw your grand entrance, I thought to myself, it was all worth it. You had your aunt eyes. They were big and perfect, you had one little, two little, three little fingers and I loved how they intertwined with mine. My blood pressure would come down as I counted them in your head. Mm. Ooh, girl, how I envied those kinky curls, that funky smell on your neck, those cute little feet. You are loved. You are beautiful, God's creation. Now I look at your little body, and like the soapy waters in the bathtub, drip my heart begins to break. Piece by piece, piece by piece. I am your mother. And it breaks my heart to have to say this, but darling, some things you're going to have to discover and uncover all on your own. I will not be able to hold your hand to it all, but when that happens, I want you to grow a backbone. Here are a few pointers to you will walk around the streets of Maseru looking for a job and it will head like hell when after so many tries, you don't get one. I don't want you to feel compelled to lay on your back and start counting the stars. In fact, when that man suggests that, I want you to look him right in the eyeballs. Give him just one look. Then turn around and start walking in the opposite direction. Sway those hips like your mama taught you. Show him exactly what he would have if he would have that one tiny conversation with your father. I will choose him well. Another man will come. Oh, sweetheart, they are everywhere. <laughs> even approach you. Or maybe you thought he was the one, but realized a little late that he was just a passerby. Now cry. Let it all out so you can begin to heal. Give yourself a pet on the shoulder because, sweetheart, you have a heart. You can love a man exceptionally well even when it is hard. Now some girls won't like you. And they will most definitely point out the obvious, like the color of your skin. Now I want you to tell that when God made you, he made you in his likeness. You see, God is a smart artist. He did not just paint you orange. In fact, he drenched you in black. He knew you before he formed you in my womb, that you will be bold and beautiful. You have a spirit of a fighter. You are more than a conqueror. You are your mother's daughter. God doesn't make duplicates. There is no other like you now. Because he does. Thank you.